Hey everyone, and on today's quick uh, Outlander episode update, um, we're going to be giving you guys a heads up on some new parts and new DIYs coming for the MK4 Outlander. So, without further ado, let's uh, roll out sweet intro and show you what's going on. So to show you what's going on here today, number one, we're going to show you guys, give you guys a quick DIY <laughs> for fun, is the car seat cover. Of course, we went with the Baja style, uh, poncho style uh, Baja seat covers. So we're going to have a fun one. We're going to do the DIY on that, you know, just for funsies. And then next we're going to have uh, a, a 20 inch light bar, uh, front fog lights, and then the mounting hardware that we need for everything. So in the DIY that's going to be coming soon, we're going to show you guys how to uh, wire everything up. Uh, we're going to design and uh, create a control panel. So we have like a little nice little like uh, cockpit uh, control panels on how to, what's the word, um, uh, wire it all up safely so nothing catches, you know, nothing shorts out, catches fire, number one. And then number two, we're going to design toggle switches for everything so you guys can turn them on, turn off whenever needed and desired. And we're going to show you how to tidy all the wiring up and bolt everything up to our Outlander safely, securely, and have fun doing it. You know, why not? And obviously, we're going to install the super sweet car seats that we got for the car. Um, so, uh, what we ended up getting, we got everything from Amazon. So they weren't super expensive. We spent about, I think, about 90 bucks on everything here that you see, uh, not including the car seat. The car seat was like another 30, 40 bucks. So I think in total, this was about a $120 um, package for the car. Uh, but what you're going to see show you is that the fog lights are separate. They are, uh, I think, 35 watt, and the light bar is a 65 watt uh, bar. Should give us more than enough lumens. Uh, in brightness I believe the bar is about a little over a thousand lumens and the the fog lights are about 500 or I believe 800 uh, lumens a piece um, I'll double check everything uh, on the website um, on Amazon I will give you guys the links down below in the description that way you can order the exact same stuff if you guys are thinking about getting the same stuff um, we're gonna show you guys how to fuse everything safely uh, we're also going to show you how to create the toggle switches and light, and we're going to make lit toggle switches, so it'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to 3D print them, uh, 3D print a, a little uh, plate for everything to mount on, so it looks nice and tidy in the uh, <laughs> interior that we don't have. <laughs> so we're going to do all that, show you guys how to do everything, um, and we got some cool wire from here it is right here from my job, so. I got some 8 gauge wire, speaker wire right here. Should be more than enough to run 35 watts. This wire, this wire right here is rated for about, I believe, uh, 150 to 300 watts. This is rated for about 500 watts of uh, electricity. Um, I believe the ampage these uh, these lights pull is about 10 to 15 amps, so it's more than enough uh, ampage for, for these uh, for this gauge wire. Um, anything more than that we will start overheating the wire and it'll start actually melting so we have to be smart I do have sh a heat shrink and soldering so we're going to show you how to solder all that heat shrink it make sure it stays waterproof and it doesn't short out we want to prevent anything touching metal because if it, me if it touches any type of metal it will ground itself out and cause problems down the road for you guys and we also got a little fuse block a little block that we'll show you guys later on how to wire that up uh, pretty cool. I mean, we've got some pretty cool stuff. We're going to show you guys how to do all this wiring. And it's going to give you some extra ports. So if you decide to add more accessories down the road, you'll be able to add more without risking any type of damage to the car. 
that's one of the biggest things we're gonna make this whole entire setup independent from everything else so it doesn't affect the car itself uh, that way if anything does short out like that we know where to look for the short and find it and fix it as fast as we can without again affecting the car because that's one of the things you guys always got to do with electrical a lot of people love to tap into the car and eventually if something shorts out you have problems with the car which is you know not the best thing you want to do especially when we're out in the middle of nowhere off-roading we want to be able to diagnose and repair it as fast as we can all right guys thanks for tuning in for this really short introduction i mean short a sneak peek of the next diys coming for you guys but i just wanted to show you guys i got excited so i wanted to show you guys as soon as possible uh, what's coming up so you guys can uh, be ready for the new diys coming soon thanks again for tuning in and as always break fix and repeat because this is pgl's garage peace out everyone